Welcome back, family, to My Black Universe. So, as you know, we are in quarantine. Uh, some of us, some of the states are letting back open or opening back up, like here in Texas, where I'm at. But uh, prior to that, I was like, you know, I'm looking at how the mess, as you see, from the left and right shots. I'm like, nah, that's not going to work. So, we pulled out the bevel trimmers and the Cut Buddy Plus. Right now we're prepping the beard, we're prepping the scalp. Uh, we're gonna start with the beard first and get that lined up, you know what I'm saying? I like a crispy beard line. What I'm doing now is I'm combing the beard down, okay? Uh, my beard hair kind of grows thicker in the median part of my beard, but I'm combing it down because it's the way I want my beard to lay when I uh, hit it with that crispy line, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I should be, uh, I don't know what I say like that, but okay. So, I'm uh, getting the Cut Buddy tool, and I'm, I'm lining it up. I'm going to do a, uh, a primary cut line with the trimmers. Just kind of set the line I want it to be at, uh, the top of the line. Uh, as you see, I'm taking the trimmers. It's the T-Blades, uh, V2 blades, which are the square blade technology from Bevel. And we're coming down on top of the beard line and we're just kind of starting our guideline and uh, we're, we're, what we do is when we set it we try to set it to where the line goes to the top of the ear on both sides that we can keep it even um, I start at the corner of the mouth as you can see that's why I like this tool it's a large tool it covers the, the whole of my face and um, bam you see I, I, I move the uh, angle I, I change the angles uh, how I cut I use the uh, the edge of the T blade which is why I like the T blade over the normal blades because I can get more versatility and I can see myself in the mirror and make sure I, um, I follow the guideline on the cut buddy plus now I'm combing my beard back down making sure looking from side to side make sure it's pretty even we're combing down the mustache uh, because you want it to be uniform so you can get as many hairs as possible when you know every time you cut you want to get as many hairs as possible to make the line even uh, uniformity is key man you can't have your beard and your mustache looking ragged you can't have a regular mustache and a clean beard it doesn't work so as you see I'm taking my time uh, if you know the brother get beam he says you know brush one fade one right now we comb and all right, as you can see, you know, we're coming off the top of the mustache. And what I do is when I come down on top of my mustache, I make sure I go towards from the middle of the mustache, then down. I want to make sure I get uh, the bar is, um, is even, or should I say the angle of the bar, um, either as uh, thick as possible or as thin as possible. If I do, I want it to be more of a right angle triangle. Do I want it to be more of a trapezoid? You know, you have to decide these things because... Once you clip it, you know, you got a week, two weeks before it grows back, and you can do it again. You see, now I'm taking a brush, because I do have some hair, as you can see right there, that kind of grow, and they kind of curl up and curl out. What I do is I lean to, uh, I turn my face to the side, you know, get a good angle, and then I take the trimmers, and I just get the loose hairs and just kind of get them in line. I don't go through the hair. Don't go through the hair with your trimmers. You're going to clean, mess up your, your mustache, and you're going to have to shave it all off. I always just kind of get those little hairs and just get them in line with the rest of the beard so they can lay down with the rest of uh, not your beard rather your mustache so they can lay down and be uniform <clears throat> I don't care how good your mustache or your beard looks from the side or, or a certain angle if you turn it and you got all these hairs going which way man that's just not a good look you know uniformity once again uniformity is key when we do what we do man I've been doing this DIY DIY thing for quite some time so you know got a little bit of tenure in the game about three, four years, you know what I'm saying? So we're going back in. Uh, what we do is we just kind of do a little bit of cleanup, uh, catching little hairs here, make sure we got our um, the top of our beard, top of our mustache looks good. Then also we hit the bottom of the mustache because we want to be uniform across the top of the lip. Um, take your time in these places, man. You don't want to push it up too high because you got to remember, if your mustache is anything like mine, you might have a spot where the hair you don't have as many hair follicles growing in and you don't want to clip too much off the top and then you have this big looks like a big gap uh in your mustache as you see on like on the left side of my face 
it's a little bit thinner going towards the beard as, as opposed to the right side of my face but it's okay so we're now we're gonna get into the straight razor I do like uh, how clean my line is with the bevel trimmers but something about that straight razor man hitting the line with the straight razor just gets it really 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 nice and crispy so right now we're putting in our um, we're putting in our blade and we're brushing off and go from one side to the next so um, we're on the left side and we're going to you know take our time pull the skin man make you pull your skin as tight as possible because if you don't the base is gonna you know jump across your skin and you're going to cut yourself I don't care how good you think you are, you will cut yourself. It is what it is. So here we are. Bam. We're hitting the line, taking our time. Um, like I said, I've, I've done this before. In fact, I got a video where I freehand my entire beard. You know, I freehand my line in on both sides. Uh, it's an old video from a few years back. But you see, I'm taking time, looking in the mirror, and I'm going little bit by little bit across the beard, and I'm checking, from, you know what I'm saying, uh, to make sure that line is still curved. I don't want a hard straight line. I want a curved line to go with my facial structure. All right, make sure you, when you're doing this, go with your facial structure. Do not go against your facial structure. You know, you're gonna look weird. Your beard's gonna look weird. You're gonna cut it off. Don't do that. And take your time, man. Take your time. This is an art form. Make sure you got a brush nearby, a comb nearby, something. Because when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you keep it even. Because what can happen is, um, you go across and then you'll create a kind of a hard spot where it's kind of flat and now you have to readjust your entire beard and bring your line down to bring that back into the curve to avoid doing that take your time don't rush this i have this sped up to one and a half times the speed just so this video is not like a 45 minute video this took a while to do um and what i'm doing right here is um, i'm taking the trimmers and i'm hitting the top of my sideburns and i'm just kind of setting the line and i'm cutting some of the hair as well because you know i'm gonna shave it in a moment but right now i'm setting the line because what i'm, I'm gonna do this time is i'm gonna keep uh, a portion of my sideburn in this uh beard trim and we're gonna kind of curl uh we're gonna kind of curve into the sideburn and uh get that line now we're not gonna let it stay completely flat because it doesn't look right in this situation but what we will do is we're going to curve into it and bring that line up a little bit higher than what it normally would be if i just use the bevel trimmers if i do the bevel trimmers usually that brings the the line right right below the top of the front of the ear and it curls right up in there kind of perfectly so what we're doing is this time instead of stopping it right there um what you can think of if you would take a, a magic marker pencil and then bring it up there we, instead of stopping it right there what we're doing is we're bringing it all the way up where the tip is close to the top of that instead of coming right into that so it's probably harder to explain than if i if i showed you guys but um hey we're doing it well you know once you take it off you really can't show it come back in oh yeah one thing i forgot to mention is with my mustache right there in the middle of the lip i'm not sure what that that indentation is called i make sure i uh i get the hairs that are in the middle I get those and I kind of uh, make sure the mustache starts at the very edge of the indentation on each side just so it can have a uniformity. I like the way my mustache looks with that. But uh, right now, you see, I'm still taking my time. I'm still working on this left side because it is an art form. Don't rush. You know what I'm saying? You can nick yourself. You can push your beard down. Now you got to go back and start all the way from the bottom and then bring it up, match it up to the top and then what happens is you got to make the, the right side match that it becomes harder to do when you push your beard line down because you didn't take your time trust me i know bruh trust me i know but you know here we are we back in it again we are taking our time once again it's all about consistency and uniformity consistency and uniformity i had i, I, I created a few hard spots but they weren't really that hard where i didn't do more than just take like the very edge of the, the razor and what I mean the very edge, like maybe a millimeter coming from the edge, and then I just kind of hit the line and stretch the skin, make it flat, hit that line to bring it in line with the rest of it, and then once you let it go, it should curl right back into the line or curve right back into that line and just give you that nice curved look. And here we are. <laughs> you see, I'm sweating a little bit because uh, it's work, man. This is real work. I, I like I said, I've, I've done a full-on video where, as you see. You see how it's going right into the uh, the top? 
Uh, don't worry, we're gonna hit that that tuft of hair that's right behind the uh, end of the. Yeah, I'm hitting it right now. We get a tuft of hair that's connecting from the uh, tip of the beard to the top of the ear. Boom, it's gone. As you can see, now instead of it curling right into the top of the ear, it curls, curves rather up and it matches so it's perpendicular as opposed to slanting right into it if that makes sense and if it don't oh well now i'm, I'm coming my beard out like I, I told you guys earlier my beard is thicker in the median of it which is right in the middle of, of the top of the beard and the bottom of it yeah my hairs are thicker and i you know i got a little bit of length on them. i got about roughly about an inch or so of length on me um it can get much longer but i usually don't let it do that because to me it look weird uh i am a leo and it does like a mane. But that's not the look I'm going for. So <laughs> we uh, we come back down. And what I'm doing right now is I'm shaping um, my beard with trimmers. I'm hitting the very outside of the beard. And I cut into the thickness of it. Just cutting, you know, the outside, the straggly hairs. And trying to bring everything uniform. This is probably better off with a set of clippers. Um, I'm hoping Bev will actually make a set of clippers. Which would make sense that way I can have those and they can have guards. Because I did kind of predict that they were gonna make a T-blade for this, because it's a, it's a modular style situation where it doesn't make sense for them not to have um, a clipper style head. But I digress. And so what I'm doing is when I shape my beard, all right, guys. So I freaked out for a second because I was like, wait a minute. Why is this audio so loud? So I, I had a video going on in the background and I muted most of the audio. I forgot to do it on this one track, but we'll go back and fix that. But what you see is, I, is when I'm going to the left side and I'm working on getting my edge at the top. I'm working from the top to the bottom because I have a big problem. I, I can admit this. I have a big problem getting even lines when I do freehand, but I did get it right this time. Now we're switching over to uh, the safety razor. And I'm going to take the safety razor. We're going to put in the bevel razor in. Uh, I don't know why I have that singular hair sitting on the top of the dagger razor. Don't worry, I'm going to clean the razor off. we got the priming oil. We're going to take the priming oil. Uh, we're going to wet their hair a little bit. Take the priming oil, put it on the top of that. Uh, the priming oil acts as a, a kind of like a lubricant in between the safety razor and the hair and your scalp. So we've got a little bit right there. We're going to rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in. You know what I'm saying? It's going to look a little weird, but it's all good because we're going to take the... There we are. We've got the, our lather, our shaving cream. We're going to make a lather. We just got a, uh, a generic bowl. We got the bevel brush, the boar head brush, a uh, boar hair brush, rather. And we're going to mix it up. You know what I'm saying? In the kitchen, we're freaking like a stir fly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, however we go. Anyway, so we're going to make a pretty good lather. We're going to add a little bit more. I try not to add a lot of water. Just add a little bit of water at a time. And then work your lather. You just want a nice, thick, consistent lather. right? Like Consistent lather like what we got going on right here. Check me out. Check me out. You know what I'm saying? That's perfect. As you see, we're hitting the hairs. This is what I use it for. Like I, I don't shave my face. With this kit, which is this, what this kit is is actually meant for shaving your face, but it's done so well for me over the last three four years shaving my head. Um, I I don't do anything else. I don't go to a barber. I just shave my own head, and I take my time. So with the safety razor, uh, with any razor, you still take your time. Do not rush. Do not rush. Do not rush. I got a safety razor, so I'm good. No, no, a safety razor is to help mitigate. Uh, cutting yourself, you know, I've, I've tried to do a straight razor and shave my head Nick myself a few times never tried it again a Safety razor helps mitigate that it allows you to go a little bit quicker uh, Than using the straight razor, but you still got to be careful Still got to be safe. I'm so used to using the straight razor and uh, rather the safety razor I know the weight of it. I know how to angle it 45 degree angle. I know how many passes I got to do but I still have to be careful. You'll see later on in this video. I still got to be careful. So here we go. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I'll add more lather. Never be afraid to add more lather. Never be afraid to add more lather. Let me say it again. Never be afraid to add more lather. 
you know what I'm saying? Because uh, you might have just a small amount of, you know, micro hairs that you need to get. You may not think it's, you know, anything big until you shave the rest of your head. It looks smooth. And you got these little bitty patch of hair. It look like brand new grass growing out the side of your head. Uh, that's not a good look. As you can see on the back, even though I got a, it's a straight razor and it's in a safety razor, there's parts of my scalp that it doesn't necessarily get up. So I know to make multiple passes. And to help, uh, sometimes I use my, um, um, what's my tool called? I've got as a tool that, hold on one second, man. Yeah, it's a self-cut system. I actually have a self-cut system. Uh, and I'll use that sometimes to help look behind my head, you know. As you see, I'm, I'm making multiple passes, but I'm not digging in. I let the weight of the safety razor, because there's a little bit of weight to it. It has a little bit of heft to it. I let that do what it needs to do. I don't try to force it. Don't try to dig in. Don't try to make it do it. Just let the weight do what it needs to do. And then break it down. So you can see the one side of my head. Still got the, you know, what's going on. And now I always rub the back of my head. As you see, you see, I still know this hair's back there. And I got to get it. I'm going to go and make several more passes. Like I said, consistency. I know, I know, I know. One pass is not enough for the back of my head. One pass is not often enough for the side of my head. Depends on how uh, thick I let it grow. Uh, and as you can see, you know what I'm saying? The, the brother's bald, bald. I'm, I'm bald, bald, bald. But it is what it is, man. So we finna get it smooth. We finna get clean. You know what I'm saying? Go have my scalp smoother than Trade the Truth. Shout out to Trade the Truth, H Town Stand Up. And uh, here, here we go, man. We finna hit this other side. You see, I still got a few tufts of hair on the right side, but I'm gonna fix that before it's all said and done, man, because I, I just can't go around looking drinking like that. So we hit the left side with the same way. I always start from front, I mean, from back to front, going on top of the ear. And. Boom, you know what I'm saying? We keep knocking it out. The same thing I do on the right side, I do on the left side, or vice versa. It doesn't matter which side you start on. Just as long as you have the same consistency on either side. So, you know, I'm rinsing out all the hairs um, as I go. Boom. In the top of the scalp on the left side. And what I'm doing is I'm looking. I, as I look, I look in because right there in the uh, right there in the front, it doesn't look like I have any hair at all. But I do have very small sprigs of hair growing, and I don't like that. Uh, when I hit the back of my neck, I kind of turn the blade to the side because I, I do got rolls. I'm a big dude. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I still pull your chick though. No, don't ever get it twisted, homeboy. So I'm gonna hit the back of the head, and I'm gonna go all the way across from left to right, from right to left. Now. Here's the part where I told you guys, you gotta slow down. Uh, I had a bump on the back of my head. I didn't dig into my scalp. I had a bump and I wasn't patient. And uh, usually when I catch a bump, I just kind of let it glide over the bump. This time I, I kept a little bit more pressure than I should have. And I'm gonna go and you're gonna see the, and notice that I hit it. The, there we go. There we go. Hit, the, hit that bump. And I know I, I removed that skin off the top of that bump. That's why I'm touching it. I'm touching it. I'm looking. I'm touching I'm looking. And so I'm slowing down now. Like I said, slow down. Uh, <laughs> slowing down. Like, ah, okay. And then kind of going around the bump, knowing that I'm probably going to have a little bit of blood on the, the safety razor. I still got to get the rest of the hairs. I'm not going to put the trimmers back there because I don't want any of the loose hairs to get into the bump and aggravate it and have ingrown hairs or anything like that. So, Boom. I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm going around it make sure I still make several passes because hey you know I already got it I'm just going to shave it around it and be gentle not to dig into it not to make it worse but like I said I told you I'm going to go all the way across back to my scalp one more time and I'm going to touch back there because I got to make sure I got all these hairs see, there we go I touched back there I noticed I had a few more tufts of hair one more pass Still got a little bit left. I'm thinking I'm going to hit it one last time. I should hit it one last time. I'm looking at the blood. I'm getting behind the ear. The bigger patches of hair. Now, what I do not do is I won't take that razor across the top of my um, ear to get the tuft of hair right there or directly behind the ear to get the tufts right there. What I do is I'll take the trimmer. I'll take the T-blade. Oh, see, there we go. 
Boom, I caught it. Boom, boom, boom. Like I said, like I said, consistency. I know my head, man. And once you once you start doing this, you kind of learn your scalp. You know how many times you need to take it across there. You know what I'm saying? I start feeling. Oh, feel it, feel a little bit of hair. Get it one last time. One last time. You have to know your head. Um Except for the fact that I, I, I did, I did a uh, cut into that bump. But so what we're gonna do is we, we, uh, we're gonna dry that up a little bit behind the ears, so we can take the trimmers, and then right there, like I said, we take the trimmers and we get the little bit of tufts of hair. Boom. Get it right there on top of the ear. And like I said, I just don't feel putting the comfortable. Uh, I don't feel comfortable putting the razor right there. I feel like I'm gonna cut right into my ear. Cut my ear off or something like that, man. It just, I, I get paranoid doing that, so I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it with a straight razor, safety razor. I don't care what kind of razor combination you think you you got. Oh, man, it's safe. You can do it like this. Bump that. F that. We're going to take them trimmers. We're going to do this. I have yet to cut myself with them trimmers doing that every time, and it's been going on three, four years. Oh, there go the blood from the back of my head. I, like I said, I cut a nice little, little chunk of skin off that bump. But I wasn't being careful. I wasn't taking my time. Like I, I told you guys, consistency, man. Be consistent. Take your time. Be careful. But uh, we see the bottom of the beard. My underbeard is not that great. I try to let it grow. Doesn't grow in the way I like. The hairs down there are actually too thin. And they don't grow in and get thick enough. Now, I could probably wait a long time. But I've, I've done like two months. And it just... I knew by the way it was looking and the way the, the hair is growing, it just was not, it wasn't going to work. It's going to be a nightmare. So we get up under there with the oil. We're finna take some more of this lather. That's why you lather the way you do. So you can have extra. You don't have to make another batch of lather. You can carry it over. And if it ever feels like it's getting dry, take a little bit of water, put it on the brush, just a little bit. And then bring it around, and there, you know, it'll get back, uh, it'll loosen or, or get soft, or soften up like you need it to, and boom, there we go. Now, what I don't do is I don't shave with the safety razor. Uh, I've done that before, but I, I do tend to get a few uh, ingrown hairs, not a lot, just a few, maybe two or three, uh, because I, I make multiple passes. I make, because I like that smooth feeling. So for me, what I do is I just take this, the lather, I let it soften up the beard hairs, then I wash it off. I pat, uh, do a pat dry on it. Don't don't rub it dry, but do a pat dry on it. They come in with the trimmers, and I and I can set my line. This plus it's easy to set your line when you use a set of trimmers as opposed to uh, a safety razor. I probably could use a straight razor. I've tried it before. I just I'm too nervous. I feel like I'm gonna cut something important. And uh, yeah, man, I'm not I'm not down for that. Uh, I'm not that much of a daredevil. So here we are, we're gonna wash all the lather off. You know what I'm saying? Get it all the way off. I got a big old head, man. I got a huge head. Matching eyes. Damn. But I still pull your check, nigga. Don't get no, boy. Smooth pull your check. No, don't ever get that twist. Oh, I think she like. Boom. So we uh we took the towel, we pat dried it off the camera. I don't know what I'm messing with right now. I, I, I really don't remember what I'm messing with right now. What the hell am I messing with, man? If you don't get them damn trimmers. Or bean head negro. What? What the hell am I doing? All right, we get okay. All right, we back on track. I thought I edited this out. I didn't. I didn't edit it out. All right, here we go with the trimmers. Now, real quick, what I like to do is when I when I hit the trimmers, I like to bring the trimmers in and go with my natural jawline. I go from the outside of the jaw and I come down halfway. Then I take the trimmers, flip them over, and bring them up. As you can see right there. And when I come in, I try to make sure I come in straight every time and get that nice little angle. Even when I go directly under the chin. 
boom. Every time you see me come in, I come in flat. Boom. You see how I'm doing that? I'm coming in, getting some of the, you know, scraggly hairs or the hairs that are sitting up too high, too long. And I bring it down and I make multiple passes. I would do the same thing with the safety razor. And that's the problem. I, I irritate my skin doing that. So that's why I don't use the safety razor on uh, my chin right there. Now, what I did with the left side is I uh, I shaped my beard and I didn't do it with the right side. So I, I remember right here, Nero, shape your beard. <coughs> Boom, so I'm shaping the beard. Off camera, like a, like a idiot. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna be off camera like that. I thought I was on camera. Yeah, I'm shaking the, shaping the beard. Off camera, you see that box of Kashi? See on the background? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing right here. I'm, I'm, I'm going over all the loose hairs, getting in shape. What I do is I angle the trimmer with the uh, T blade, turned down, and like a triangle towards the middle of the beard. So the top of the beard isn't too short or too long and it just kind of goes down to the middle section and that way when I comb it down it looks more uniform it looks smoother it's not a whole bunch of hair sitting on top and then it's not so thick uh, in the middle and then it's really thin at the bottom I don't like that look so this lets me organize it and have my beard so when I comb it down and it lays down it looks fuller towards the bottom as opposed to the middle <clears throat> excuse me guys so we we are taking the brush and we're brushing out all the extra hairs out of the T blade. Boom. We're looking. We're looking. And now I'm trying to set my uh, my line right here in the bottom portion of uh, the beard where it's on the top of the chin with the razor. Big mistake. My hair is too thick to do with the razor without accidentally doing too much pressure and cutting into too many hairs and messing up. So. We do the tried and two method right here. We set the line with the T trimmer, or the T blade rather, from bevel. Set the line, I move the little goatee hair out of the way. We see I tighten my lip so I can get a good look. And we come in and we start with the corner. I always notice, if you notice me, I start with the corners. When I'm going into tight places like this, I start with the corner and angle the rest of the blade out. That's why I love the T blade. That way I don't clip into all these hairs and mess up my line or mess up my mustache or mess up the top of the beard. <clears throat> and then when you see me coming to the side, I angle the trimmers to come right underneath the, where the beard hairs are and then hit behind that line. That way I can set that line because when you're looking from the front, it looks even. Like right now, boom. Killing it, killing it. Now we're going to come in with the straight razor. Just kind of touch the top of the line. We're not going to push anything down. We just want to touch the top of the line. Boom. Touching the top of the line. We just look around. Take my time. Angle the blade. You see I take my time. Make sure I got my skin tight. And like I said, keep your skin tight. If you don't want to cut yourself on your jaw or right here at the top of your chin, keep the skin tight. Pull the skin tight. If you don't pull the skin tight, you're going to cut yourself up. It is what it is. So bad, we pull the skin tight, even though I'm pulling the, the skin back and I'm not pulling against the opposite way. I do this that way I can pull some of the beard hair back and also get there and I can see that line. I do the same thing. Well, I, I did pull the opposite way. I don't know why I did different. Well, I, I use my right hand a lot more. I use my left hand. But we're checking it. We got the uh, trimmers again. What's I touching? Was the bottom of my mustache? Or we just looking? Okay, no, no, we good, we good. We gravy, man. We Gucci, baby. Yeah, the, you can kind of see the bump on the back of my head, just right there, a little bit. Besides the roll on my neck, don't don't worry about that. We 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 gonna lose it by next summer. Yeah, cause your girl still like it. Don't ever get it twisted, bust. So here we are. We checking it. We checking. I like it. If you see, man, it's a night and day difference, man. I was looking. Really toe up, man. I had the hair missing up front, the hair missing in the middle of the crown, and now we killing it, man. We, you know, what I'm saying. 
got all the scraggly hair off the neck. I do got some dark spots on my neck or whatever. That's for me when I was shaving with the safety razor. Once again, with me, I just, I, I do overkill. I, I'm a little OCD when it comes to my beard, man. Uh, I don't have any hair on my head no more. At least enough for it to matter. So, I make sure, uh, oh, oh here, this is an angle thing I'll tell you guys about. When I have my beard, angles. It's all about the angles. I, I bring it into the median part, portion of it. Then when I see, boom, when I break it down, it's even. Now I might notice there's some spots that are a little higher. If you look on the right side of my face, if you notice towards the, uh, the edge of the beard where it, it goes towards the point, it's a little thicker. I don't like that. I like for my beard to be thinner and then lay down and get thick towards the bottom. So it's all about manipulating the clippers or your trimmers to work the angles you want it to. You know what I'm saying? But we're doing our thizzle, man. We're doing our thizzle, man. Look at this. Shout out to the Cut Buddy Plus and the Bevel Trimmers. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. So, you know what I'm saying? You know I have to clean up. Got my Urban Urbane on. You know what I'm saying? With my Tolly Twine watch. Them boots and beads. You know what I'm saying? Limited edition. You know what I'm saying? Limited edition snapback. Feeling good. Looking good. With nowhere to go. I, I had nowhere to go. I just looked good. I was looking good for you guys in the video. Uh, for, well, for your girl. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys like that, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, peace and blessings. I'll show you. Ladies, show me how you groove.